welcome back to another video pilots. Today, I'm attempting something new. Not sure if it's going to be a recurring show or idea, but essentially, I will give a rundown of everything Halo happening now and in the near future on a semi-weekly basis, covering things like HCS, promos, waypoint blog posts, upcoming and updated mods, new Halo merch drops, and more. And at the end of every one of these, I will leave you all with some Halo videos I enjoyed that week. Jumping head first into the news, we have two non-HCS tournaments coming up that you can participate in. Of course, if you meet the requirements. Firstly, we have the Lady Spartans Pro Series, an all-female Halo tournament starting on March 5th and ending on May 21st and 22nd for their Grand Finals. There will be 32 teams, 4 open tournaments, in a 4v4 HCS format, a $20,000 prize pool as well. Registration opens on February 23rd if you are interested. Links to join and learn more are in the description. The other tournament is the Xbox Fan Fest 2v2 tournament. This tournament is only open to registered Xbox Fan Fest members. Luckily, it's easy to sign up. The Smash.gg website will guide you through the process step by step. As for the tournament itself, here's what to expect. It is a 2v2 format being held between February 24th through March 19th. There is a prize pool of 50 grand to be shared amongst contestants. This is open only to North America and Europe. Links to join and learn more are in the description. That's it for major tournaments happening soon that you can join. Now, let's turn our attention to official 343 blog posts. We got three this week, one of which I already covered in a video yesterday concerning the February update. The other two are a mod showcase for MCC and a community spotlight post. Let's start with the mod showcase. This short MCC development update simply covers two mods made using the mod tools released for Halo CE and 2. There's a little guide on how to actually make the first mod yourself with the tools, so if you wanted to get into modding Halo, why not start now? The second mod shows off a cut mini Warthog S vehicle that is being restored, and we got a nice little picture of Arbiter riding in it. That's about it for that blog. Moving on, we have the showcase blog which has such amazing artwork being shown off. Go check out the blog link down below and show the creators here some love. And if you are a creator yourself, please submit your work for the next showcase. You can earn the Flame Unicorn Emblem and Nameplate by being featured. Let's move on to running promos and new merch drops from Halo. Firstly, I'd like to remind everyone of the OPI promo currently being run. You can get a Glittertastic coating for your Spartan when you spend $20 on qualifying nail polish through Amazon. Link in the description for specifics. I actually was lucky enough to get a code from Xbox during a stream uh, where they were showing off the OPI coding as well as the Forza coding. Uh, the awesome Katie was present. She's the Halo Partnerships and Lifestyle Lead at Xbox. After this, we have three cool new items available for pre-order and sale. Some may be out of stock as of this video, but check back for restocks. We have an awesome Halo decanter that I would get if I drank more whiskey than I currently do. Comes with four glasses as well in a cool case. Then we have a gorgeous 1 4 scale Halo 3 Master Chief statue. The details on this statue are insane and it's absolutely massive. Both these items are for sale on their respective maker sites and linked down below. Lastly, we have a new lineup of clothing on the Xbox Gear Shop called the Deconstructed Line. Here's a preview of what to expect in this line. As always, Links for everything are in the description. To cap off these videos, I would like to leave you all with four Halo videos I enjoyed this week. Starting off with the longest and my most favorite video is Vengeful Vadim's first episode of Halo 2 Uncut. If you are interested in cut content, mods, and a cool voice narrating said things, then please check out their video in the description below or click the link in the top right. Moving on to a video that really got me thinking is the Patman's video on missing features from Halo Infinite. This video doesn't cover obvious things like Forge and Co-op, rather things we thought we would get that were introduced in MCC. Worth a watch if you want to rediscover some things MCC did right. Thirdly, we actually have an interview with a 343 developer courtesy of Kevin Cool. The interview covers working on the campaign and level design, so if that interests you, please check out the video. Lastly, we have a short meme video from High Octane Halo showing how it feels to be grappled in Halo Infinite. Links for all these videos are in the description. That wraps it up for this video. Bit of a slow time for Halo at the moment, but things will likely pick up around Season 2 of the game. Till then, we have plenty of tournaments to watch, the TV show coming out, and lots of community content to enjoy. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.